is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen it is my damn hauls episode whatever it's not a typical episode of my damn hauls because i'm a stupid idiot moron and i've kind of opened everything here today but i wanted to show you guys update you guys a little bit with what we got going on we got a few things to cover here and in this video i figured why not go ahead and get an in-depth look at the new wrestlemania Shawn michaels we have some epic figure clothing over here that i want to get into as well some updates on some customs and i did add a couple more additions to the collection which we're going to get into man so let's go ahead and start off i guess we could start off we'll end with the john cena because uh, i'll show you guys the update over there about the ultimate edition john cena's and what we're kind of adding up there and i guess we could start things off with the Shawn michaels because i know a lot of people want to see this figure in detail i don't know why the rest of the set hasn't come in just yet but i do want to start off with the Shawn michaels then we'll get into the figure clothing and just kind of dissect everything man but if you guys did not know this is the new wrestlemania Shawn michaels if you guys don't know what that is it's the wrestlemania 38 i think way with the build a figure of Vince McMahon. And you guys know that we're going to do a full in-depth review of this figure, but I figured go ahead and do this. Why not? Because it's right here. We might as well get into it. So as far as these accessories are concerned, man, you do get mic holding hands and you do get the DX like entrance slash suck it hands, you know, like the, the wide open handshake hands or whatever. But this nice vest right here, it's, it's, I guess you could call it cloth, but it's sort of like a pleathery material. This is from his WrestleMania 26 match, his last singles match ever. He's got like the wings going on the front. It's got like a brown and cream or like a black brown and cream colorway going on nice little straps on the side you do have the little angel wing design on the back there with the studs kind of just you know you know they're just kind of painted on there or printed on there you do have the white sides there that wrap around the figure it's a very nice vest accessory it's very nice it's going to look great on display figure photography all those great things so you do get this you get the mic holding hands and you do get the entrance hands now as far as the figure itself starting out with the head sculpt we've seen this head sculpt multiple times this is you know the defining moments hbk or the wrestlemania 25 Shawn Michaels head sculpt just painted differently I'd say this one looks a lot better than that one does it's a lot cleaner the likeness is there it's just a very old head sculpt this head sculpt is like a decade old bro we're still getting this it's not updated it doesn't have true effects or anything like that 10 years later and we still have this head sculpt that's kind of mind-blowing dude that's crazy that's absolutely crazy that you were born in 2010 and now you're what 10 11 years old and they're still using the same exact head sculpt that's kind of wild but I still like the head sculpt as old as it is you do have a nice five o'clock shadow going on there i like the likeness to this to this figure i just wish we could get something new and updated he does have the Shawn michael torso right here a lot of people are bummed out about this they didn't add the coloration to the tattoo so it is a bit flat there it's kind of just an outline could easily paint it i guess to add the details shouldn't have to do that though got the white wrist tape on there double jointed arms this is our first elite Shawn michaels with double jointed arms we do have his ultimate edition figure and i haven't heard anything else about his second ultimate edition but going down into the pants we have a Another long pants Shawn Michaels finally added to the collection, but you can see all the designs going on. You got the like cream color. I'm a big cream guy. I love cream. I think it's a beautiful looking color. It just adds a lot. Like I don't like it on my walls. I'm not a big fan of it like maybe on wall color because it's kind of plain Jane, but when you add it into gears and shirts and jerseys and shoes and like these different things, I think cream's a beautiful color. So you do have the black and brown mix in there with the wing designs going all the way down. You get his nice boots there. Got the cross designs. It's a, it's a very nice figure. I am actually liking this figure a whole lot. I think it's beautiful. We've been waiting on something like this for a long time, especially this specific matchup, so this is great. I'm surprised we never got like a two-pack with him and Undertaker, but I like this figure a lot. Like, it articulates really well. It's not on ball joints, but the, the legs pose really, really well. I think, you know, when you get this figure in hand, you're going to have a lot of fun with it, and it's going to add a lot to your displays, but the HBK looks sick. Very happy to own it. I'm so glad that I have this. I had to order this one. The rest of the wave, I was just going to wait on, you know, until it comes in, but I I saw this on eBay. Had to go ahead and purchase it. You can pre-order this wave at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but the Shawn Michaels is fire. I had to go ahead and just get a... I, I figured... I didn't want to just review it by itself, but I figured if I threw it into like a My Damn Halls episode, you guys would like to check it out. So, there's the Shawn Michaels. Really dig it, and let's move on to the next step, man. We have the Shawn Michaels figure over there. I don't know if you guys missed our video from yesterday, the AEW Unrivaled Year in Review. We took a little bit of a look at these wrestling buddies. If you guys would like to grab these wrestling buddies this is the luchasaurus right here you can't grab that at ringside collectibles using promo code md toys as well but getting into the rest of what we have i want to get into this figure clothing right here because this right here if you guys did not know i'll read the note aloud to the class in just a moment but this comes from my man nick storm review and if you guys can see this is a cloth bendy wire i think it's bendy wire it may not be bendy wire regardless it's a sick ass cat yeah it does have a bendy wire in it it is a danhausen 
cloth cape for a Danhausen figure. Now, you're probably like, where the hell's the Danhausen figure? Well, I'm waiting on the head sculpt. I do have the tattoos in these decals right here that we're going to get into. But we're on, we're in the process of making a Danhausen figure. And my boy Nick Storm Review sent me this beautiful custom cape that looks so nice. It's got Velcro on it. I think his girlfriend made it. She did a fantastic job, man. It's even got the red on the other side with the black. Very high quality. I wish she could make other stuff because I'd have her make me some jerseys and shirts and stuff for my John Cena. I don't know. Maybe she could do it. I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but this looks fantastic. It feels fantastic. She did a really excellent job, so Nick, be sure to tell her, but here's the note he left that made me smile the other day when I read it. So, it says, to Trey, thanks for being the staple of wrestling figure content that this community not only needs, but deserves. Here's a Christmas present to you from all the way on the other side of the world, and I hope you have a great Christmas with your family, and don't upset Jinxie Cat. With love from Nick Storm and Sarah at Nick Storm Review and Night Shift Customs. Huge shout out to Nick Storm Review. Thank you so much, Nick Storm, and that that freaking note made me laugh so hard, man. When when I read the Jinxie Cat, made me smile. So huge shout out to you, man. This thing looks incredible. Can't wait to make the Danhausen. This this thing looks very nice, very evil, very epic Hausen. So this is greatness, man. I love this. Can't wait to put that on the Danhausen once the thing is there. And will he show up on MDT Television? You're damn well, Brad. Sure he is, guys. I don't know what the head I just said. All right, next up, guys. We do have some decals down here. Now, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I did want to showcase these. So we did get, you know, his return gear right here. So this is some John Cena decals. You got the return gear. Yellow and green. Not like my favorite gear ever, but it's got to be added up on the shelf, right? Because John Cena wore it, so we got to get it. We also have his uh, SummerSlam gear with the one-up or like the 16 times slash one-up sort of deal. This is really great. So I love the way these look as well. There's a closer shot at the green and yellow. So I got to make those two. This is just the beginning of these customs. We also have one night stand ultimate edition john cena decals that we'll have to make so i do have the reebok logos and all the mitchell and ness and chain gang soldier all that stuff got to uh, you know make those shorts and and all the john cena stuff there and last but not least we do have the danhausen tattoos so it shouldn't be too difficult i've gotten a lot better at applying decals and all those different things so making all the john cena customs and, and the danhausen and stuff should be relatively easy the only thing i'm not looking forward to is the head sculpt of the danhausen which i did get from Hederation, which should be coming in soon and when that comes in maybe we can work on him on surgery and stuff and we do have the decals there to apply it and I do have to like it's a great 3D printed head sculpt but we do have to uh, paint it up we're gonna have to paint it up but next up guys we did get an elite Matt Riddle and this has just been chilling for a while over there I don't know if you guys saw it in the background of videos but I did get an extra elite 88 Riddle and it's kind of got a loosey goosey torso waist is good legs are articulated and feel nice but the ab crunch is a little bit loose than I like so added another Matt Riddle I figured I saw it at retail I was like damn bro he's got some cool accessories you might as well grab it i like matt riddle a lot so i figure go ahead and grab the extra one there another huge shout out to nick storm review man god what a great epic and evil cape sarah killed that thing and then last but not least i did grab another ultimate edition john cena and you're probably like what the hell is wrong with this man you have 10 hundred of these and you'd be correct i do have a lot of them but that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes so i did get another one of these and i'm still in the process of getting getting more of these you know and i still don't even have one mock i need to get one mock probably a couple mock to be honest with you but i bought this figure a lot and i gotta show you guys the updated collection over there so just give me a moment and we'll go over there and look at all of them all right guys so here's a look at the ultimate edition john cena collection right there this is the series 10 i think here's like my a bunch of belts that i'm gonna put on all the john cena's these are all my spinner belts and my uh throwback u.s championships if, if you guys have this version of the u.s championship if you guys have this version of the u.s championship with the scratch logo please let me know because i need a lot of these so thank you not the modern version i need the throwback version i would trade a modern version for a throwback version but i need the throwback version so if we can make that happen and i'll probably need possibly some more jack spinner titles and if you guys wanted to know what that looks like it is it does look like this so it looks like this it's not the mattel version i hate the mattel version it's kind of too small for my liking so i do want to put these on my display so the u.s spinner looks like that and it is the jacks version so a couple of those and then i do have some more wwe spinners i don't think i need any of those at the moment i probably will but nonetheless here's the update we got how many you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 of the new Ultimate Edition, and then I have two of these at the moment. May crack in some more on the ringside sale, man. But that pretty much wraps up today's My Damn Halls video. Showing off the Ultimate Edition, showed off the Shawn Michaels, the Wrestling Buddies. Here's another look at the Wrestling Buddies. So they look really excellent. You got Cody, you got Darby, and Kenny Omega. Again, guys, if you would like to grab those ringside collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS. But another huge shout-out to my man Nick Storm for the epicness on the Danhausen cape, and a huge shout-out to Sarah for making that ha happen. If 
if she's able to make other cloth accessories, man, please let me know because I could help her out with graphics and anything she needs. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't cross the line like me for being evil, Housen. You cross the line. I've been